Hello makers and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeanette Fry. I'm the owner and maker of Jabelle Chic. So for today's video, we are going to be using another 24 ounce plump from the Tips at Magnolia. Y'all, I am really loving doing those glitter bottoms. So stick with me, stick with me on this. So once again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And at this video, at the end of this video, if you love this tutorial, please consider giving me a thumbs up. It is really helping my channel out. So once again, I am really excited to bring you this new Tumblr tutorial, and I hope you guys stick around to see the finished product. All right, so I think that's enough for me. Let's get into it, let's go. Art makers, let's get started with this Tumblr tutorial. So here I have a 24 ounce plump from the Tipset Magnolia. It used to be the Steel Magnolia. And I have went ahead and just sectioned off where I want my glitters to be. So I section off the top part green and the bottom part will be another color. Y'all, I am losing my words today. So the same time as always, I just used some electrical tape and put some parchment paper down on the bottom side. So to apply our glitter, we are going to be using the epoxy method. Once again, I'm going to be using the DIY Turbo Epoxy Facet. I am really, really, really loving that epoxy so far. So for the glitter we're gonna be using, I'm gonna be using Trust Fund. This is by PDB as a little base. And y'all, full disclosure here, full disclosure, I'm going to be using, I don't know what this is. I do not know what it is, but hey, I am using what's in my arsenal. I think this is a glitter that I got when I first started making tumblers, but I am going to use it. So once again, I urge you all to just use what you have to make the best of your tumblers and, you know, without going out and buying any other glitter. So I'm going to use this, but please forgive me. I do not know the color. It's just a chunky kind of metallic green. So... I love this color it is going to go great with my decal so off camera i am going to mix my epoxy i have about 10 mls probably about yeah 10 mls here i will not need it all but to be on the safe side i'm just going to mix a little more because we are going to be using chunky chunky glitter and i want it to lay fat flat so off camera i'm going to mix that and we'll be back to apply the glitter all right, makers, so here we are. So once again, you wanna keep in um, mind that you do want to work fast because this glit, this um, epoxy will start to harden up on you. So I'm gonna go in with Trust Fun. This, once again, this is by PDB. And like I said, I'm just gonna apply a little because I do want that other chunky to be the star. It's not coming out. All right, let me use my big shaker. All right, so I'm just mainly concentrating on the edges. do a little sprinkle in the middle all right next I'm gonna go in with my off-brand glitter and I'm just gonna let it rip I am, I love this color so much and I hate that I can't tell you what <laughs> where it got it from All right, so like I said, I'm just letting it rip, just getting really good coverage. All right, maker, so now that we have our glitter applied, I'm just gonna take some regular parchment paper and just roll the tumbler. Maker. So now that we have our glitter all nice and flat, we can begin to remove the tape. And we want to remove the tape at this point because, like I said, we are using a facet. And you do not want this epoxy to harden on the cup. All 
All right, so now that I have the tape removed, removed I'm just going to roll my tumbler one more time just to make sure I'm concentrating on this edge right here, the bottom edge and the top edge, just to make sure I get that line nice and flat. All right, makers, so now that we have our glitter all nice and flat, I am going to let this dry for about an hour, and then I am going to seal it with a coat of a two times matte clear by rust -Oleum, and then we'll be back to apply our bottom glitter color. Art maker, so I did let the green dry for about an hour. It is rock solid. I did, did seal it with a coat of rust -Oleum matte clear. So for the bottom portion, I did go ahead and paint it just a kind of like a light kind of mauve pink color because I just wanted a kind of darker base as opposed to what kind of glitter we're going to be applying. So the, for the bottom portion, I'm going to be applying Kingdom. This is by It's Pretty Personal. Personal. It's called Kingdom Honey Cream Palace. And I really think it's just gonna complement our decal very, very, very good. All right, so off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and mix about five mLs of epoxy, apply it to the tumbler, and then we're gonna be back to apply the glitter. All right, makers, so now that we have our epoxy applied, we're gonna go in with the Honey Cream Palace and apply it very liberally to the bottom portion. That's such a pretty color. And I'm glad I added a kind of a darker base because it just makes it pop even more. So now that we have our glitter applied, we're gonna go ahead and roll this in the parchment paper just to make sure we get everything nice and flat. All right, makers, so to save time, I did go ahead and finish rolling this humbler and I removed the tape from this portion and the bottom portion as well. So I am going to let this dry for about, for about an hour and then we will be back probably I'm going to let it dry overnight because it is nighttime here. So I will be back tomorrow to continue the next couple of steps. All right, makers. So let's get into the decal process. So I did allow both coats of glitter to dry overnight just to be on the safe side. And I did seal it with one coat of epoxy. So now we're on to the decal process. So the decal that I chose for this tumbler is Antisocial Butterfly. I just really thought it was just fun and playful. And I did get this from gracefully created. All right, so we are going to be applying a checkerboard pattern to the bottom portion. And I just thought that that really just played off the black and the decal here, just to bring some of this black down here and just to try to give it a vintage vibe. So this is what I did. So note to Seth, when you're measuring your tumbler after it's, you want to measure your tumbler for the decal, I mean the wrap after you've glittered because if you measure your tumbler just the stainless steel portion you're not accounting for when you apply the glitter so that's very important so now i'm going to get ready to apply the checkerboard pattern and i did get this pattern for creative fabrica i have partnered with them so you now can um, use my link to get your very own subscription it is a very 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 good program and i'm really glad that i got it because i am saving so much money just versus just paying six and seven dollars for a, a a you know a svg where you just have free unlimited downloads and to do whatever you want to do with it so totally totally check out that link all right so let's get ready to apply this portion down to the bottom all right maker so what i've done this is about so I, like i said i measured my cup and it's about 6.87 and diameter around and then i did the decal about 3.67 high just to account for this portion only and so what i'm going to do i've already put some biker away from the bike part and i'm more concerned about just getting the decal lined up here on the glitter so none of the glitter shows so that's what i'm going to concentrate on i'm not more so concentrating on the top portion because once again we are going to add some fun striping all right so i'm just going to take my time just kind of make sure i got the whole bottom portion covered up as far as i'm not showing any glitter so that's very very important all right so once i get it 
the way I want it. I'm just gonna double check and I'm gonna pull it tightly. And if all lines up, it should line up as to where I want it. So you wanna take your time cause you just have to kinda maneuver the decal, just kinda make sure it goes in the spot and it's fitting just the way I want it. So I am gonna take you guys along with me because I'm gonna go through my thinking process just to make sure I get everything lined up. And so you guys can see the process as well. But you just wanna test it out, make sure everything is lined up and go from there. All right, so makers, I decided not to do a time lapse so you guys can see the real time process. So I'm just gonna to begin to remove my backer from my transfer. And I'm just taking my time just to make sure I'm pulling everything tight and nothing's moving. All right, so you're in no rush, you're in no hurry. So just take your time and apply it correctly. makers so now that we have our checkerboard pattern i think it looks so cute so far so y'all know i'm gonna be extra i'm gonna be extra so you don't have to do this step if you don't want to but i just really just think it's just gonna bring it all together so in design space y'all know i love my striping i went ahead and cut out just a bunch of striping detail and these are about 11.5 by 0 0.03 in in height so they're really really tiny but i just really feel that if i just outline each and every one of the checkerboard um things it will just kind of make it look more seamless and kind of put together so that's what i'm going for so it's definitely going to take me a while and i do not mind that however i'm going to take you guys along with me in a time lapse so you can see the entire process Art maker, so I don't know if you can tell from the time lapse, but it did, it did take me a minute to make sure I got all of that detail, but I just really think it is worth it and, and just bringing everything together. So it's just really, really subtle. So like I said, this is a step, if you, if you choose to skip it, just skip it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in before I cut off the excess up here. I've already cut off the excess up here on the bottom. So I'm gonna go in with just a thicker stripe. I think this is about 0.067. And I'm just going to go around this black portion and apply it here before I move the excess. I just think it'll just kind of make everything a little bit more secure before I move the excess at the top. All right, makers, so now that we have all of our detail applied down here, we are gonna go in and start applying our decal. And I just think everything is just tied together so nicely. All right, so we're gonna place this directly in the center. Oh, so stinking cute, it's so cute. All right. So y'all know I gotta be extra, just a little bit more extra. Bear with me, bear with me. All right, so I'm gonna take one more of the, let's try this size. This is a little smaller. Nope, it's still too big. All right, so I'm gonna take one more of the striping and apply it here to the middle. Just kind of jazz it up the middle of this black stripe that we applied here. I just 
stick it just ties everything together so don't act like y'all surprised because you know i'm a little bit extra okay All right, makers, so now that we have our decal um, done, we're gonna go ahead and do the finishing process on this process. Do not forget, we still have to do our glitter butt, so that's coming. So before you add your coat of epoxy, you want to make sure you go through each and every of these little lines if you choose to do this step and just make sure everything is not moving, everything is good to go. I am going to seal this with a coat of Rust-Oleum Matte Clear. I'm gonna go in with a coat, a quick coat by CCDIY just to make sure I got none of this striping detail moves. So it's very small, little tiny lines. So I do not want any of those lines to move. I'm gonna go in with two thin coats of epoxy and then we'll be back to do the glitter butt. All right, makers, so now that we have our tumbler all nice and smooth, I will wait for the reveal. As always, we're going to go ahead and do our glitter butt. So I have about 20 ml of epoxy here, 10, 10 of the CC DIY Turbo Facet. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that up. And the glitter I'm going to be using, of course, is the off-brand. Once again, I apologize. It's just a green, chunky glitter. And we're going to apply it here. And then we're going to apply one more little detail before we finish up this glitter bottom. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix the epoxy off camera just to be on the safe side. All right, maker, so now we're ready to go ahead and apply our glitter bottom. And I did mix a little of trust fund, some of what we mix on the top, just to give it a little bit more dimension. So now, take in mind, we have to work fast. So I'm just gonna pour this in the glitter bottom. Try to ensure I'm just not going over. So I'm feeling this little outside well first. All right, I'm not filling it all the way to the top because we have to add one more element here. Y'all, excuse my dogs. All right, so I'm gonna take my torch and just pop any bubbles. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry for about an hour and then we're gonna be back to apply the final element. All right, makers, so now we're back to um, to place our last detail. So I got this little butterfly, so I thought it was really cute and it would pair really well with this. I got this from Creative Fabrica. Once again, you should try that program. It's really awesome. Um, so now I'm just going to take this off. And it has some very intricate decals, so you know it is very small. So to get these details to cut out the way I wanted them, I used the washi tape setting, the washi tape setting. So that just helped out a lot. So I'm just going to simply apply this decal here, I'm trying to center it in the middle as best as I can. All right, makers, my apologies. I stepped away just to make sure to get another tool so I can be able to pull this decal away from the backer and it was giving me issues and I stepped back and I thought I was recording by however. Nonetheless, I managed to get the decal away from the backer and applied on the bottom of the cup. So, of course, the base was just not as smooth as I wanted it to be because I knew I was going to be applying another layer, but that's okay. I just think it just really adds to that kind of boho vintage thing that I'm going for. So now to seal this decal I'm going to apply one thin layer of epoxy and we'll be on to finishing up this tumbler. Makers, we are done with this tumbler. We are done and I think that it could not turn, have turned out any better. Oh my goodness, look at that. Y'all, these decals on Gracefully Created are just giving me life. They are just so easy to apply and the colors are just so vibrant. 
And y'all, once again, look at my striping detail. And y'all, off camera, I did get a little extra and I added like a couple more little stripes here, but I think it's so subtle and it just brings everything together. And I just outlined the stripe, the checkered and the little thin stripes just makes everything just look so seamless. It's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. I really, I really, really just love these colors. I really, really love this tumbler. I'm just so excited about the process. And once again, y'all, that glitter bottom, look at that little butterfly. I just think it's just like a little hidden gem of the bottom of the tumbler. It's just so stinking cute. It's just so cute. It's cute. All right, so you guys, so recently I just, I've been using a little extra ink epoxy, A-L-E epoxy, y'all. It is just giving my tumblers. I applied it, I apply it on the final seal. It is just giving my tumblers such shine. Really, a really nice shine. So it is called a little extra ink epoxy. I have partnered with them and I now have a coupon code. So that will be listed in the description as well. So I really urge you guys to try that product out. I am just, I think it's just a game changer moving forward with my with my tumblers. I think I am going to make the switch to using nothing but ALE epoxy for my final coats. And y'all, it is just working out. And once again, that DIY epoxy by that Turbo Fast epoxy by Turbo Fast by CC DIY Turbo Fast, y'all. That stuff is the truth. It is the truth. It is true. So try that as well. But once again, I do have a code that you can use down below to get your hands on a little extra ink epoxy and the shine. It's just, it's even better than my previous epoxy. So y'all, I, I, I stand by it. I stand by it. So definitely give that a try. So once again, makers, if you have questions as to how I create this tumbler, please list those below and I will definitely get back to you. And once again, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. My channel, my small channel, my small channel, it is growing and y'all, I am, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. So your comments just mean the world to me and I just love each and every one of them and I, rep and I reply to each and every one of them. So once again, makers, I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Makers, I know y'all thought I forgot about the quote for today's video, but I did not, I did not. So it's simple, but like I said, all my quotes are simple, but impactful to me. So I hope they're impactful to you as well. So the quote for today's video is give yourself time to be. So I know we as makers, we sometimes get so busy and just wrapped up into creating and things like that. However, there, there are days like on Sundays or things like that, that where I just take a break and just be me and spend time with my family and just just trying to regroup for the for the, the next week ahead so that's something that i love to do so i really hope that this quote inspires you i know that it is very inspiring to me as well so that's the purpose of all of my quotes so until then makers i think that is enough for me and i can't wait to see you guys in the next tutorial but until then you all stay blessed and most of all continue creating